Damn, Amazon, the greatest packaging ever. Looks like this thing just got ran over by a freaking train. Let's actually see what we got right here, a box within a box. My God, this thing is stuck. Oh my God, this is freaking straight. We still got something in there. Oh, what? Look at the quality of this thing. $40. The main reason I bought this thing was to make this thing a little bit quieter. Nope. I'm rocking some straight pipe exhaust and it's freaking destroying the valves. So we need more restriction, but actually I'm not sure if this thing... Wait. No, God, please, no. So actually this thing would fit on a can, Amber. Like... Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? We actually need a before and after sound test. Some of y'all probably already know that this thing is freaking hard to start right now because the coil is faulty. By the way, guys, I really want to know if y'all like the more content. So if you do, just leave a comments down below. This thing is a pain. Yes, I stop. I don't think this thing will start today. Oh! I know I don't have front wheels, but we'll buy some in this video. So with that being said, guys, it's actually time to remove these ugly pipes. Ah! So to make this thing a little bit easier to work on, I removed the front chassis. So now let's remove these. Actually, you gotta cut these tack welds. Almost lost the freaking garage, man. Without further ado, let's fucking get this thing out of the garage right now. These are the reason I reacted so fast. I could see the reflection of the fire behind me, so I knew something was on. Safety glasses save the day. So I think I want this exhaust somewhere right here so it looks freaking clean. I actually need to figure out how to make this works. So I might have a plan guys. So let's go ahead and try it. So I made myself a nice little bracket. I'm gonna weld that bracket right there. Now that this thing is mounted, make these two pipes end up with just one pipe and reach that exhaust right there. Hopefully I'll be able to do something with these old pipes. I actually deleted some footage by accident, so so this is what I did. Ugly ass setup for the exhaust. And here you have it, this nice and clean exhaust with ugly ass welds. Oh shit, don't look. This thing won't run because the coil is bad, so we got a new coil right here, so let's install that bitch. Oh fuck, here we have the new coil. Hopefully it is not fucking faulty again. Your sparks. Oh. <laughs> so let's actually see how great or how bad this thing will run, actually. Let's go! Come on, man! Oh! Yo, this thing sounds mean! This thing was indeed running bad because of the freaking coal, man! 
I don't have front wheels right now because I modified the front end of this mower so I can put the Yamaha skis on this bitch but actually I don't think I'm gonna change this right now I'm just gonna put the Yamaha skis back on that bitch we need to blow some snow before we get that thing out of the garage Let's go. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Yes, I'm that lucky. I'm that lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> if y'all live in Florida or hot places where snow never shows up, stay there! Fucking stay there! It's not fun! One eternity later. Bro! It took me freaking four hours to blow all that snow. It's been a freaking while since I drove this bitch. Oh my god, she's awake. Holy shit, it sounds freaking insane. This is so freaking fun, dude. Look at this shit. I'm driving a fucking modded mower with skis and a fucking cool exhaust, man. On a freaking snowy road. It's already drifting, look. I'm only in second gear. I have five gears. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what? This thing is a drift machine. I don't know how to call that freaking truck in English. Should we raise them? We should raise that bit. <laughs> that guy was laughing. Yo, I think that guy likes it. <laughs> he likes the freaking show. Yo, I'm gonna be on TikTok for sure. But oh shit, whoa! Whoa, it's sketchy when there's no freaking snow. Oh, that road right there is pretty safe to pop some donuts. There's basically zero cars right here. The bell is smoking, I can smell that. Whoa! The clutch is about to freaking melt, dude. It smells so fucking bad right now. The belt is a little bit too tight. It sounds so freaking good in real life, dude. I hope it sounds really good on camera as well. It's pretty freaking slow, dude. Yo, it doesn't have power. What? Go! Go! Yo! I usually hit like 65 kilometers an hour with this bitch on pavement. <laughs> 
Oh shit! I forgot to put gas in this bitch! I'm about to run out of gas! No! How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes! <laughs> I should have thought about it first! I'm never going home with that much gas. There's like 10 drops of gas. The fuel line is empty. Yep. A few moments later. Thank you, Papa. Uh, where are you going? Stop running. Eh? What y'all guys think about this build? I know it's a trash build. It's it's simple, but if y'all actually love the mower content, I might actually go crazy with this mower and probably engine swap this shit. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Holy shit! I feel like this thing was a little bit more powerful with the straight pipe exhaust. That is weird. Every redneck boys have once done this. <laughs> it works pretty well, man. Ah, the belt is slipping. The belt is slipping. Okay, it's time to go home. <laughs> Enough playing with this bitch. We don't want to break this. Oh! No! It's running on one cylinder now. Oh my god. No! You for real right now? My canem is broken. I have nothing to get this thing home except driving it. If this new coil is also faulty after just 30 minutes of playing with this shit, I'm gonna lose my shit, man. There's no way I just drove this thing on one cylinder for that much far away. They are not reliable, but they're for sure freaking tough, man. Let's find a problem. Again.